The pilots in November 17 Delta Tango did not pull a parachute. This video takes you through the last flight of November 17 Delta Tango. On November 22nd, 2023, at 1646 Eastern Standard Time, a Cirrus SR-22T November 17 Delta Tango was involved in an accident near Fairland, Indiana. The airplane was destroyed. The flight instructor and pilot were fatally injured. The airplane was operated under Title 14 Code of Federal Regulations, Part 91, as an instructional flight. This is what we know about the last flight of November 17 Delta Tango. The pilot acquired the Cirrus airplane only nine days before the accident. The flight instructor had given several lessons to the pilot in the days leading up to the accident. This is the flight path taken by the pilots derived from the ADSB data points. The pilots were in the air for about 40 minutes, covering 50 miles from Bloomington to Shelbyville, Indiana. Two circuits were completed at the airport before the accident. The weather conditions were ideal as the pilots prepared to depart from runway 24. After 17 minutes into the flight, the pilots turned east to set up their approach into Shelbyville Municipal Airport. The pilots approached the airport from the inactive side. They crossed midfield above circuit height they then make a teardrop loop in preparation to join the left downwind for runway 01. The pilots have now descended to circuit height. The pilots complete what appears to be a low and over at an airspeed of 93 knots.
pilots enter the downwind just above circuit height. The aircraft descends into the base leg, bleeding off airspeed. The pilots do not land and continue to fly 100 feet above the runway. If the pilots had pulled the parachute at this point of the flight, you would not be watching this video. Post-accident examination of the airplane revealed that it was destroyed by the impact forces and the subsequent fire. The main wreckage was about 40 feet from the impact ground scar. The ground scar showed impressions of both leading wing edges, the airplane nose and the propeller blades, all indicative 
of a nose-in impact. As of December the 10th, 2023, 258 lives have been saved in Cirrus aircraft equipped with the parachute system. Why did the pilots not pull the parachute? As in this video, there are also cases where pilots could have used caps to save their lives, but did not activate the parachute system. The United States Air Force experienced similar pilot indecision when ejection seats were first introduced. Several fatal accidents occurred when the pilot never ejected. The culture and mentality among pilots soon changed, and they learned to use and accept the new safety feature that continues to save the lives of military personnel. Cirrus pilots must adjust their mindset and pattern habits to use caps in emergencies. From the time of pulling the cap's handle inside the aircraft, it takes just eight seconds for the airplane to decelerate to zero. Cap statistics show that you are 13 times more likely to survive an accident when caps is activated. When caps is deployed higher than 1,000 feet, no one has died. Aviation News Talk host Max Trescott provides additional excellent insight into this serious accident. The most important take home comment from Max Trescott, the choice when to use the parachute is very simple. Unless you are over an airport when an engine fails, you pull a parachute, a simple decision model to act upon.